Hello, welcome to episode 6, I think, of my DIY electric conversion of my BMW E91. Uh, so, this week you're going to see I got my prop shaft back, uh, I finished the rear mount, and I did some coding on Zombie Verta. So, let's get into it. Just got back from this place where I've had a bloke working on my shaft. So, um, this is the... Uh, GS450H flange welded onto my BMW front part and shortened by 8 centimeters, I believe so I think this is the, the join where they've welded so yeah, hopefully oh that's good, and that's, my, that's my old flange from the BMW shaft that was cut off Hopefully now we can get the uh, gearbox transmission in place. So uh, see how this works out. Managed to get it sort of started lifting up. Yeah, it's uh, tough going. Back underneath, and I've put these little rubber doodars on. And that. And just trying to get the alignment right. So, uh, I need these two faces perfectly parallel. I'll just keep tweaking and tweaking until I get them. I'll tie that together. Right, it's the uh, transmission mount. Just the one. No idea if it's uh, going to be strong enough. I think it should be. It should be fairly strong, that. So it's still a bit warm, but uh, yeah, the transmission amount there. I might try and just put another strengthening piece in the middle. But yeah, I'm gonna hook that up tomorrow and uh, let it take the weight and just double check that the uh, the spacing between the two flanges as they are rotating they remain the same. So currently, I've just got a yeah, uh, I've just been putting this on either side of the flange, locking it, rotating and just making sure that they stay as close as damn it, exactly the same. So hopefully that's not going to cause any problems. And uh, then I can move on to the, ooh that's really hot, move on to the front mount at some point, possibly next week, I don't, I don't know. But um. Right, so my rear bracket is taking the weight, and let's just check the alignment, so... Put these out, let you see, put these bolts in, it's got a slight wiggle, still a slight wiggle. Ok, 
at that. Right, so I've been <clears throat> doing some code changes on the zombie. So what we've got here is uh, connected to one of the analog inputs. I've got um, a couple of resistors connected to both 5 volts and ground, which is this here. So 4.7k to ground. This is for a, uh, a Type 2. And a, a 330 um, to 5 volts. And then the PP <clears throat> goes to the uh, vehicle inlet. And what I've done is added, uh, find the right tab. So in the zombie, we've now got uh, these two pin mappings for the inputs. So I've just got number two set to pilot proximity and a, a threshold. So whenever it drops below this, it's in charging mode. So let me just so PV zone block. Oops. So PP val. So the Plotting that. So that's just a bit noisy, it's very low value. So it's not plugged in, as you can see. Plug it in. Drops to a low value. Unplug it, it goes back up. So if we stop the plot. And auto refresh. So we're looking at this now, the op mode. So, plugging it in, goes to charge, and plug it, and goes to off. So some more zombie code work, and uh, as you can see, I've added a vacuum sensor to one of the analog inputs for brake boost, and um, so. We've got a value for it down here. Right at the bottom. There we go. So if I plot that, so I've so just got a, a vacuum sensor hooked up, and then uh, you'll see if I if I just give it a little soak, we get the value. So next I'm just going to add a threshold so that when it's below that and in run mode, switch on a output. And then we've got um, brake boost sorted. As you've seen, so that's uh, this week's progress and I'm pretty pleased with that. I think um, the alignment looks, it looks as good as I can get it. I think that's pretty much spot on and hopefully it'll do the job. Um, next week. Possibly let's start in, uh, mounting the front. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.